Today I'm going to make a Japanese seaweed salad. Again, I want to make only simple dishes for you. Not complicated, but my goal is, and that's why I was well known for, to make tasty food. And again, this is very tasty. So let me show you what I'm doing. We start with a little grapeseed oil. If you don't have grapeseed oil, you can use any oil, but don't use canola oil. Don't cook with extra virgin oil. That's one thing I don't use for my cooking. Next thing I do is I add here vegetables. I have some cabbage, red cabbage, onion, I have red peppers, I have carrots, I have garlic, I have ginger, and let me see, and some green onion. And what I'm going to do now, first I start with the red peppers, so take them. Again, this dish won't take too long. It's again, it's very simple, fast, 10 minutes. That's all it's going to take. 10 minutes. Watch this. So we're going to have this, see this little heat on this, there go. Next thing I'm going to do, some carrots, because that have, first it's very heavy vegetables, or heavy, the thick ones, the ones that take the longest time to cook. Simple, easy, and fast. Next thing what I'm going to do is add some onions, some red onions. We always use onions. Onions are good. They kill the parasites. Excellent for your health. Always eat red onion in your food. They are so nutritional, important for your health. So let's cook this for a little bit. This dish is not going to be taking too much time. It's a very short dish. Again, it's like, I like to do everything in like less than 10, 15 minutes. Because most people, they don't have the time to, to stay hours on the stove. And I can show you how to make delicious, healthy food in less than 15 minutes. Okay, red cabbage goes in here. See this? Red cabbage. We're going to red cabbage. And I'm going to add a little bit more oil, just a bit, okay? You don't want to overcook this, you just want to keep this nice and crunchy. But we don't want to lose any of those beautiful nu nutrition, vitamins and minerals in this food. Then what I'm doing here is have a little garlic, chopped garlic in here, garlic. See how fast this goes. And next we add some ginger. Some, like a teaspoon, I think that's enough. Of fresh ginger goes in here. All right, so far we haven't seen any flavor. So now we're going to slowly going to flavor this. What I like to do first is deglaze it. Instead of wine, I use a little rice vinegar. Again, I need some acidity in this, just a little bit, a tablespoon, that'd be enough. You heard it sizzling, that means it's working. Wow. Oh, that is just wonderful. Then add a little bit of Himalayan salt. We don't need too much because we're going to have other products going in there. The salt. Then I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. That gives it some great flavor. Cinnamon. Have a little bit of cayenne. A little spice on this. And then I use some turmeric. Turmeric is good for your digestion. And this goes perfect with this. Is. I say I put about a teaspoon of turmeric in here. Now. What I'm going to do next is very important. I don't want to caramelize this. So now I add a little bit of water. I would say about three tablespoons of water. That's all. Because otherwise it's going to take too long. And we let reduce this all the way. Mm. 
Now, when we to this point, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add all my beautiful Japanese vegetables, wakami, uh, uh, I don't know all these names, they are so beautiful. And I put about a cup in here, arami, wakami, hichiki, uh, all the great Japanese vegetables, we're gonna mix, mix them in now. Look at this color, just let me show you how this looks like. Right, it goes all perfect together. Nice combination. We just want to heat this because the vegetables, they have been soaked overnight and then well washed and rinsed and then dried. So we don't have to cook that too much. We want again to keep all the nutrition in the vegetables and the smell, it's like smelling the sea. The next thing I'm doing, add a little bit of nama soya in it. I love this. You don't like nama soya, you don't have to use it. I love it. I put like a teaspoon in here. With the ginger and the nama soya and the garlic, it is just incredible. And then the last thing what I'm going to do is add some scallions. They go in there very short. Scallions, we're going to mix that in, and now the surprise comes. You would think, what's he going to do next? I got a big surprise. After this is done, I add a little bit more water. I want to cook it well through the greens, but not too long. I'm going to add some goji berries, goji berries. They have been soaked and dried, they go in there, and what an anti, what a dish this is, with so much goodness in it, with the goji berries, and all this Japanese vegetables, and the onion, the garlic, the ginger, this is the dish. Let me show you what I'm doing next. It's cooked, it's less than 15 minutes, I don't even know how long, but this dish is done. What I'm doing next is, I'm going to sh show you how I serve this dish. We put this right in the middle of the plate. You want to put this in a ring, it's fine, in the beautiful, be very fancy. I'm not going to do anything because there's no need for it. I want to show you simple dishes. Then I'm going to put some black sesame seeds around this. And I'm going to have some white sesame seeds. And here we have the dish. This dish is finished. It's simple, it's easy, and let me, let me see how this tastes. Wow! Oh, it smells so delicious. Mmm, God! I wish you could be here and taste this. This is outrageous. Well, this is it. I'll see you next time. This is Chef Sal. Watch and read more at evolvewithflavor.com.